You better be good. You better watch out. The Rico Suave Artist is coming to town. Hello everyone, this is Ruben, the Rico Suave Artist. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are taking a look to Deco Art Traditions Acrylics and Deco Art Media Fluids Acrylics. The reason I'm doing the two together is because when I'm painting, I reach for both of them at the same time. Uh, I've been working already like five years with them and I'm super, super satisfied. So said it's time to make a review. Five years is long enough. Anyway, they are, they come in the starter kit. If you want to try them on, this have the Deco Art Tradition come in 12 uh, unit. I think it have 10 colors and it had two mediums in there to work with it. It have a retarded medium so you can work it like oil and you have also a regular medium so you can extend it. And the media fluid also come in the starter kit of 10. Uh, no medium with it, just, just the colors. Uh, but it's good to try them on to see how you like them. If you're gonna love them like I do. So, they they come the decor tradition they have let's see, i have my list what is the list <laughs> okay they come in 58 colors which of course i have them all three of them are metallic and one is pearl the media fluid acrylic they come in 48 color plus they have six interference and two metallics the reason I like to work together is because um, I like to use the medium body to do most of the work of the painting and the fluids uh, media acrylics I love to use them for all the fine details and when I don't like to to work with a lot of texture I like uh, my painting to be as flat as possible so this makes it a lot easier. And of course, <laughs> I have my companion that I can't work without it. It's the Easy Float by Decor. And, and I use it to dilute instead of water. It works a lot different, trust me, in that one. Um, I can show you that. So let's show you how they work. Um, look at these colors. Look at these colors, and not they delicious, they are rico, rico. Okay, look at that beautiful blue. So, let's see. They're super, super pigmented. Look at that. I put a little bit of white. very rich and they are also they're very light fast so your artwork will last forever a thousand years from now they're still gonna see your artwork made by deco art traditions look what a beautiful color so also the packaging is absolutely genius absolutely genius they're easy to pour, you only pour what you need, so you're not gonna waste anything. They're not thick that you have to dilute it and all that. So, look how nice work when you use the easy float. Look how it's tended and makes it like, like fluid. So amazing, makes it wrong like butter. And they mix also in between them, the intermixable. They mix beautiful. You can try here in that. Look how beautiful they paint. They have great coverage too. Of course, some of the pigment are translucent. That's the nature of it. But they're very pigmented. And they don't dry super quick. So they actually give you a chance to blend, to do your degradation, 
to mix the color right on the painting. All right, so you can work a lot of fun techniques. Now, a good idea is when you all have any kind of paint is to make swatches. So you know what, when you're looking for a certain type of color, you know what you're working with, you know what you need, you know how to find this. So what I use is, I take the scrapbook book, which I don't do a scrapbook, not really. So I use it because I come with the sleeve and I use the white paper, 24 by 24. And I create my own swatches. So when I'm looking for something, I can find it really quick. I have tons of swatches, so I gotta show you. <laughs> tons of them. This is one made with, let me remove this out of the way. Bye. So this is using 12 colors of the Deco Art Traditions and mixing it so you have an idea when you're looking for any color in particular, you have any idea what to expect or how to get certain color you're looking for. So I have it in one side uh, mixed pure and the other side mixed with a little bit of white. So you know what kind of pastels you get. I also make one, I work with a lot of purpose because I do a lot of florals. So I love working with purple. But uh, not always you need like a bright, bright purple. So it's so many, the hundreds of shades of purple that you're gonna need when you do a floral. So I kind of use the blues and the reds and I mix them so I know what to get when I need a color in particular. I also like to put them individual and I mix it with white so I see all the different shades that I can get. What is the other green? Okay, the other green. So I have all documented and all registered. So when I'm looking for any particular color, I can quickly find it. I mean, you don't have to put all the information, but I like to put like uh, the pigment information the name of the color and of course what's the the brand that I'm using this is the yellow Look what a beautiful delicious yellow they are very highly pigmented and they are very light fast look at these reds look how gorgeous that red is oranges and browns more blues and also, it's very smart if you work with uh, faces and figures to make it short, uh, mixing the, uh, especially the brown with white and what you will get. So you can get all different kind of skin colors. So I do a lot of portraits. I'm actually gonna show you one that I made with this paint together this is the I think this is the only review I'm gonna use two different type of paints from the same brand because I I can't just work with one I start with the medium viscosity first and then all the fine detail I like to do it with the media fluids they work really really good I'm gonna show you some see this little red in the center of this. And of course, when you put the easy float, uh, this is supposed to be put in the water, but I use it directly in the paint. I, sometimes I like to break the rules. So that's not what they recommend. They use it for, to help blending. So you, you put a little bit in the water that you're using to mix something to dilute the paint. But I like to use this because it makes uh, the paint run really, really smooth and 
makes it really great for detail. So, what is the paint? So, it worked the detail really, really good. Look how beautiful. It worked the detail as fine as you need it. As thick, as fine as you need it. Yeah, I love working with a lot of detail. And with this, no other paint in the world, you can. I mean, this practically worked like ink. Let me see if I can get in it centered. So you can take a really look, look how fine this is the brush so you can see the fine detail how beautiful I mean wrong like so so it's smooth you can go like really fine you can make detail that you need a magnified light to watch it and to see it anyway my final call from this I absolutely love this print, especially the light fast. I want my artwork to be in existence a thousand years from now. So I only use high quality products that are light fast. And I like also, I don't want to struggle with the paint. I want the paint to, uh, to go like butter and to slide in the canvas. So let me show you, like you would not tell the difference in one of my paintings that I do with oil and one of my paintings that I do with acrylic with this brand because they work as, as smooth as oil. Look at this, get in there. Look at that face. Tell me another acrylic brand that you can get this. This is not airbrush, no guys. Not airbrush. Look how many tiny details like can actually put in there. And this is not even my highly detailed painting. Look how beautiful that works. You can do dry brush, you can create any effect you want with this paint. As long as you have the right medium, you can get and uh, you can uh, achieve anything you like. Anyway. How many brushes do I give out of five brushes? I give to this painting five brushes. Five out of five. It's absolutely excellent. They work beautiful. You don't have to struggle when you're painting. They're highly pigmented. They work like butter. They're extremely light fast. So a thousand years from now, your artwork is still gonna be alive so if you like this video I'm gonna do more I'm gonna work a, a, um, a tutorial with a painting actually working with them I can include everything in this video because I don't want to make it too long but guys it's a lot of video coming uh, the products are gonna be rico suave or they're gonna be sour <laughs> Well, I would say this product are rico, que rico. And I give them five brushes out of five. They are one of the best products I ever worked before. And I have already five years working with them. So I'm very, very familiar with them. By the way, they don't pay me to say this. This, I do this out of my heart. This is just what I love. I'm not commissioned by them. I'm not sponsored by them. This just happened to be my favorite brand to go to because they deliver. What they promise, they deliver plus more. Anyway, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, so you can see all the videos that's coming. A lot of videos coming. Not all of them gonna be nice because Ruben is coming to town. So if the product is not working good, you are going to know. 
So make sure you share this so other people can see it. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.